short man from Texas, the man of the wild, thrown into combat for bodies like iron. Kirsty from Malamaster Kingdom with Tolbert from Sabaton. How are you doing? Really good, thanks. Good tonight. Yeah. Wait, so you guys have been coming to Toronto quite a bit in the past yeah. year or so. Um, have you had a chance to look around the city at all? Uh, a couple of times, but as a matter of fact, I had a walk with the uh, Mr. Drummer and his girlfriend downtown today. You know, just for a coffee, just for a short straw, you know. Yeah, it's almost it's, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't need much, much more than maybe half an hour of fresh air. Yeah. Um, and it seems like you're, you guys are kind of absolutely everywhere. You know, big festivals, and you tour North America a couple times already. Yeah. Are there big plans in the future? Just more touring? Definitely big plans in the future. Yeah. I mean, we're constantly on tour. You know, we're in the studio. Uh, putting out uh, an album and then we're touring. You know, I think we, we started this the tour on this album one year ago and we're gonna keep on going for maybe one year more on this album. Simultaneously, we're gonna write, you know, the next album. So, so yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot of work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so speaking of the next album, you guys are obviously famous for your historical war type uh, lyrical content. Do you think one day you just want to shock fans and do something like anime metal or just something completely crazy? You never know. I mean, is it anime metal? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm rooting for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, nah, I think we, we should stick to the subject. There's so much, you know, there's so much to, to be found in this top. It, it's, you know, like an endless source and it's so interesting and, and, and gripping. So sometimes it's just like, wow, do people know about this? And, you know, like on Heroes, we wrote about individual uh, heroes or heroic uh, things, you know. And yeah, sometimes it's like giving you goose, goo goosebumps, you know. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. So there's definitely a lot of things you can write For still sure. about. Never about ending. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, so talking about historical content, is there a specific period of time that you think you would like to live in that's not current? Or is it more something you like to reflect on and leave it in the past? You know, you mean like personal? Yeah, if I would like, like to live in another yeah. time. Yeah, I would guess so. Uh, before we started using all these fossil fuels and stuff, when you could just, you know, you, you were dependent on nature, you know, but, you know, more um, just for way, I would say. Yeah. Great. And so going back to like the theme of war and everything, yeah. um, I've heard that you guys have a camo bus, a tour bus. Yeah, that's true. That yeah. I'd like to hear the story of how that came. Was it just like one day you guys like, we need a camo bus? Like that? I mean, everything is in, in camo when it comes to Sabaton. <laughs> Our instruments, to our pants, to everything, you know. So uh, we had this tour bus for I don't know what is it now, seven, eight years or something. It used to be blue, oh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it was uh, I think it was like one and a half year ago or something. We sent it to a workshop to have it fixed once we were, you know, off the road, and then we figured why not, you know, paint a camel once it's in the workshop. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's why. That's, that's yeah. a great idea too. Yeah. Do you think one day you'd get like maybe a fleet of tanks and just like roll, make a statement like roll into town? And I think so. I think, think so. Should. Definitely. That, yeah. That's what we're aiming for. <laughs> I've heard that you have a tank. Yes. You actually have a is it on like a stage tank? Or it's a like huge a tank? tank named Audi after Audi Murphy, and I mean it's it's, it's like huge, oh, and it's a, of course when we're playing these small stages we can't bring it. Oh, okay. So, oh. I mean, we have a special truck to drive that around, and, you know, the crew is building it up. Everywhere. I can have, have you ever shipped that over to North America? No, no. We haven't had a chance so far, you know. We're not as big as, as in Europe over here, so... Yeah, well, you're getting there, so yeah. I expect to see that tank there very soon. The tank is coming. <laughs> right. Actually, the tank is having a, a, a little brother now. So a baby tank? Yeah, no, I think it's actually bigger. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, why well, build something? Be smaller and it can be That's bigger. true. Yeah. Just in there, you can use that as your tour bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Just like crash through the <laughs> venue and just be like, alright, this is it. Yeah, cross the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, like hey, why, you know, while you're at it, just like get a whole fleet of warship while you're at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sabaton Land. Right? That's the, you know, goal. <laughs> that is a really good idea for yeah. the like, trademark. Well, really. <laughs> Um, and so I want to talk a bit about your on-stage performance because every time I see you, I just, I can't believe it. You guys are crazy on stage. Like, it looks like a pounding red bull. 
perform. Yeah, but I mean, everybody in this band, we are really, you know, we, we like what we do. This is a childhood dream coming true for every, everybody in the band. So every night, no matter, uh, I, right now I'm super tired from, from this whole day has been like, Ugh. but once you get on stage, it's like, wow, and you just, you're there to give give the people a fucking great show and experience. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, a lot of bands, you know, just you know, trying to be as bad as possible. And, you know, be, yeah, yeah, but we're just smiling and having fun. Yeah. Kind of figured that it's better for people to go back home and feel like they had a great time. Yeah, and if you can see definitely the playoff, like the energy is yeah. fed off from the crowd and then you guys and it kind exactly. of like... Exactly, it's like a never-ending spiral. Yeah. Until like everybody just dies at the yeah. end. Like, okay. Climax. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. And like the recovery, does it take you time where you just like need to sit and like stare at a wall for a couple of minutes? Some like, nights, some place? nights, no. I mean, that de depends, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes just like back up, do it. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Really. I mean, we have our own cruise where we do like two sets. Yeah. So then we have like an hour in between or something. But you, you know, you drink some Red Bull and eat some candy and then so up, the up again. So the Red Bull is the secret. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> Had to be. All right. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Thank you very much Thank for talking to us, and we can't wait to see.